The vlog is already starting weird. All right, guys, today is the last day of pediatrics. Yeah! I'm recording this on Friday. There's two vlogs that I recorded today, so don't be alarmed. I, I can't believe it's over, but then I also can believe it's over. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't feel like it went by, by, it didn't feel like it went by too quickly, but I also, I also feel like it's time to move on to family medicine. That's the rotation I'm going on to next. You know what I mean? Like I'm comfortable with the knowledge that I've gained here and I'm more than willing to take this knowledge somewhere else and use it with other patients. You know what I mean? You know how everyone says wait till rotations to decide which specialty you want to go into? Yeah, that is 1000% true. Like that's the realest statement ever because going into rotations, I don't, I didn't have the list that I have now. Like my list, it's almost completely changed. Like pediatrics is towards the top now, families towards the top now, internals towards the top now, surgery can hit rock bottom. I don't, isn't that weird? I was in love with surgery so much and now no <laughs> even ob i was really really into ob and ob is now towards the middle like you gotta go through rotations to figure out what you actually like you have to see uh what the lifestyle is like you need to talk to doctors who pick that specialty you need to talk to other students who want to pursue that specialty you know it's a lot to think about that's one of the things i like about med school i know it's like so so long two years of bookwork foundations and then two years of clinicals and you're not getting paid for any of this and it costs so much but i like that we get to go through rotations we have to go through every single core rotation uh in third year and then elective rotations in the fourth year to really like pin down like this is what i want to do for the rest of my life like this is a, it's a big decision you know in undergrad uh people do internships like part-time internships at jobs and stuff like that but it's not like this where it's all medicine and different fields of medicine, you know? And it's it's included in our four-year education. It's not something additionally that I have to do. My shelf exam is Sunday. That is the day you're watching this, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna release this video on Sunday. So the day you're watching this, I would have taken my shelf at 9 a.m. Oh my gosh. I definitely feel better for this upcoming shelf than I have for any other exam I've had to take in med school, which is interesting because it took me so long to get down a good study routine, especially NBME exams. Like those have kicked my butt, but so far for pediatrics, I'm passing them, uh, which is the goal. You know what I mean? You don't want to take a shelf exam or any exam, step one or anything like that, without passing an NBME and hopefully more than one NBME. So feeling good about that, I'm taking one more NBME tomorrow, Saturday, which was yesterday for you guys. I don't have a video planned for Monday, tomorrow for you guys, so if you have any questions about pediatrics, I mean, that's the only rotation I've really done besides geriatrics, leave them in the comments and maybe the Monday video will be a Q&A because since I start Family Med on Monday, that first video comes out Tuesday. I, I don't have a video idea for Monday. The questions don't have to be about peas. They could be about anything, med school in general, Ross. That's it, guys. I'm going to end it here. Really short vlog. Just wanted to announce the last day of pediatrics and to announce the Q&A and that I'm moving to family medicine. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.